Diencephalon is another component of the brain and, and it's mostly hidden from the view when you're looking kind of from an outside view. Uh, you can divide the diencephalon into four parts. We have the epithalamus, the thalamus, the subthalamus and the hypothalamus. And it's hard to describe the exact function of the diencephalon because of these four substructures, but they all have different functions. I'll touch on it very briefly now, but a separate video will be made to cover this in more detail. The epithalamus of the diencephalon contains the pineal gland, which releases melatonin to help with circadian rhythm or your sleeping pattern. The subthalamus contains nuclei and grey matter, like the zona inserta, reticular nucleus and the perigoniculate nucleus. The thalamus has numerous functions including relaying sensory information and the hypothalamus acts to maintain homeostasis, ensuring that things like body temperature and, and blood acidity is kept within a certain range. It does so by regulating the release of certain hormones.